Greetings everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this lesson we are going to learn about Remote File Inclusion Vulnerability. Remote File Inclusion or RFI is basically a vulnerability in which an attacker can include remote files into the system. That simply means that if an attacker um, uploads his code on his website, the attacker can include his code and can execute the code that he uploaded. Like suppose an attacker uploaded a code with um, that shows system information. So if the code is, is included into the target application, the target application will, will return the system information of itself. It is a lot more easy to exploit than LFI. That's the main reason is that in LFI, we include our own code in their system, in the target system. But in LFI, it is easy to include the code as we can upload our own code on our own website. In the next lesson, we will learn how to detect these kind of vulnerabilities. Greetings everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this lesson, we will learn how to find remote file inclusion vulnerability. So we got a test application here. It's taking the file parameter and including its value. Like if here is home.html, it will include this file. And if you click the login panel, login here, it will include the login.html file. This is the source code. As you can see here, it's directly including the file parameters value in our previous lesson we discussed local file inclusion and in that it was um, merging the file name with a specific path the local path actually like something here and then the file name but in this case it's directly including the file so in these kind of cases it is possible to find remote code, remote file inclusion actually. That's because we can include the um, external files. Now, um, let's try to include something. Now let's try opening attacker.com. All right, so it's including the its content. Now, what we have to do is that we have to upload a file on our own. You can say on target, on website. I've already created a file here. All the shower fun dot tx shower dot txt. All right, so our file is loaded here. Now what we did is, um, we uploaded a file on our own website. The, this is my website. You can say in this case, I'm not using the the original URL just in case. You can say that this is my application and I have uploaded a file there. Now it's a, it's including the website, any external website. This can be anything like github.com slash or txt or or anything. This can be any site. In remote file inclusion, we can include any external file hosted anywhere on the web. So if this happens, if we are able to include external file, then it is the local file inclusion vulnerability. In the next lesson, we will learn how to exploit this vulnerability. Greetings everyone, this is Shahwar Khan and in this lesson, we will learn how to exploit remote file inclusion vulnerability. In our previous lesson, we were able to include an external file, shahwar.txt. Now what we have to do is that we have to include our payload into it just to 
if we can execute code so let's try to use the echo command here Let's see if we can um execute this. all right so we are able to execute our code here what this actually does is it takes out of an external file it includes them and executes wherever there is a php code Now similar to LFI, we can simply use ncat, netcat or whatever we want to get our shell. Listening on port 137 and let's see if that works. And we got a connection here. All right, so we got the access. Then um, we can also upload the source code of a web shell or anything else on our entire on our own application or on our own website. So a huge code will be included in case if you want a bigger payload. So that's how this works. We upload our code on our own application and host it there. Then we include the code here on the target application. And our code, our remote code, executes. So that's the remote file inclusion.